What I have witnessed happening today in our capital is unimaginable to me. It's something that I would read about in a book, some sort of fiction, or watch on a movie. Not something that I expected to be watching real time on my computer screen. As I watch the reports come in, I couldn't help but think about the fact that today is also the Feast of the Epiphany in the Church. The feast day of the recognition of God with us, of God incarnate, the Christ born in Bethlehem. Epiphany in the season that follows is all about the recognition of God's power in the world and the revelation of Christ as our Lord and Savior. The wise men from the east, symbols of the Gentile nations of the world, coming to Bethlehem seeking truth and true power, led by a star. They searched for truth and would find a truth that would lead them to justice and mercy and grace. The revelation of God incarnate revealed something about us in that moment. When love took on flesh, the powers of this world shook with fear and responded with violence. But when love took on flesh, the powerless in this world sang songs of justice and restoration and healing. The revelation of God incarnate revealed the fullness of who we were, who we are, both grace and beauty and fear and violence, but it also offered us a way to become who we were created to be as the children of God. Jesus Christ transformed our violence and death into the forgiveness and eternal life of resurrection. Today is an epiphany moment for us in this country. It is a moment where something has been revealed about the very nature of who we are. The acts of violence and terror at the capital capital today do reveal who we are as a country. We need to examine this moment to trace the lines of hatred and fear that led to it. We will not be able to just move on without examining the wounds that have been caused to the body of our democracy. But as we begin this work, I think we need to remember that while our fear and violence and hatred have been revealed, it is not the fullness of who we are. In these days of uncertainty and sickness and death and despair and loneliness, our courage Our compassion have been revealed through our doctors and nurses and frontline workers and janitors and grocery workers and delivery drivers. Our bravery and bold vision have been revealed by young people, protesters, grassroots, organizers, and leaders that have called us to be a better nation. Our capacity to love our neighbor has been revealed through wearing our mask and finding so many different creative ways to reach out and take care of each other while keeping each other safe. What is happening, what has happened in our capital today is wrong. It is an assault on the foundations of our country. It has revealed one part of who we are, but it is not the totality of who we are. We have a chance to reveal the fullness of who we are as a country. And as followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to look to tomorrow, to begin the work to bind up the wounds of this nation. Let us pray. God, who created us in your image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression, and that we may reverently use our freedom, help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice in our communities and among the nations. To the glory of your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.